Hi everyone. So this video is going to talk about the form designer and just show you around the interface and how we get started dragging controls onto the canvas and starting to build your form. Okay, so first things first, I've called this form test, which not that helpful. I'm just going to click in and rename it. And now it's called a daily log. Now, first thing to know is that there's no save button. Okay, so everything's saved automatically. And when I hit the back button, I go back to the manage forms interface. Um, so don't worry about saving. I can do a save as if you want to create a copy. Um, and then we have two more buttons up here, one for a preview. So you can see what it might look like on a tablet or a phone. Um, good for checking your drop downs, actions, things like that. Um, and some settings that we'll get onto another time. Now we're looking at our canvas. Don't worry about the size of the canvas. We can change that at any time, but that's just controlled from uh, from this dialog on the right-hand side. If I've got no control selected, then the canvas is selected. So I can go to styles, change the width, change the height, change the padding, etc. Okay. Now we really want to focus on the controls today. Um, so we can pick any of these controls and drag and drop them on. So at the moment I've got no label selected. So let's just drag a number box in with no label. Okay, it's just a box. And then if we were to preview that, you can see what it looks like there. Okay. Now if I choose top, drag the same number box on, we can see it's got a, a small space to put some text to tell the user what that box is about, right? Uh, and then if I choose left, drag the same box on and the labels on the left hand side. So it stays, you know, remembers the last thing that you chose. Um, so everyone that I pick after that will be on the left hand side. That's it for this video. Check out my other videos for more in-depth looks at controls, bindings and form layout.